Welcome to a journey that's both unique and universal, one that you, like many, are walking right now. It's a journey towards your deepest aspirations, towards the summit of your own personal success. But along this path, there's a companion often unspoken about loneliness. Today, we delve into the life of a legendary figure, Miyamoto Musashi, a master swordsman whose path to greatness was often solitary. His story isn't just a tale from the past, it's a reflection of a truth many of us face in our quest for success. In Musashi's experiences, we find echoes of our own moments of solitude that shape us, define us, and lead us to our destinies. As we explore this journey, think about your own path. The times you've stood alone, decisions you've made without a chorus of approval, and the quiet moments that have defined your character. This is about understanding and embracing the solitude that accompanies the pursuit of greatness. So let's embark on this exploration together, finding solace and strength in the shared experience of walking through the quieter, less trodden paths towards success. In the chapters of Miyamoto Musashi's life, there's a recurring theme, a conscious choice for solitude. Musashi wasn't just a master swordsman, he was a seeker on a solitary journey towards mastery. His life was marked by moments where he stepped away from the crowd, embracing the quiet and the solitude that became his forge. Think about the times Musashi spent, away from the distractions of the world, honing his skills with the sword. These were periods of deep reflection, intense practice, and immense personal growth. He believed in the power of solitude to sharpen not just his blade, but his mind and spirit. Now, let's turn the mirror towards you. Think about your life's journey. Are there passions, goals, or dreams you're pursuing that sometimes require you to step away from the noise and into your own space of solitude? It could be a project that demands your undivided attention, a skill you're trying to master, or a personal transformation you're undergoing. Understand that, like Musashi, your solitary journey isn't just a path of loneliness, it's a path of empowerment. It's in these moments of solitude that you can listen to your inner voice more clearly, sharpen your focus, and nurture your passion. Yes, it can feel lonely at times, but it's also where you might find your greatest strength and clarity. Remember, every great journey has its quiet stretches, and it's in these stretches that some of the most significant growth happens. So, as we walk through Musashi's life, See it not just as a historical account, but as a reflection of a journey much like yours, filled with moments of solitude that are as necessary as they are transformative. Consider the profound silence of a forest or the quiet of the early morning hours. These moments of solitude, often seen as lonely, were embraced by Miyamoto Musashi as a crucible for mastery. He understood that true expertise, be it in swordsmanship or any craft, often requires a deep dive into the self, away from the cacophony of societal noise. Musashi's life was a testament to the power of solitude. He didn't just practice his art, he immersed himself in it, often away from the world's eyes. In those quiet moments, Musashi found not loneliness, but a profound connection with his inner self and his sword. This connection was the foundation of his mastery. Now let's turn the spotlight onto you. Think about your own life. Have there been moments when being alone, away from external influences and distractions, provided you with unexpected clarity? Remember how in those quiet moments of solitude, you found a clearer path towards your goals. In a world that often equates being alone with being lonely, Musashi's approach invites us to reconsider. Solitude can be a powerful ally. It allows for undisturbed focus and a deeper understanding of our work and ourselves. Like Musashi, you might find that embracing solitude doesn't push you towards loneliness. Rather, it pulls you closer to mastery. So, if you're walking a path that sometimes feels solitary, remember that it's in these stretches of quietude that the seeds of mastery are sown. Embrace these moments, for they are your companions in the journey towards excellence. Imagine the echoing clangs of steel and the sharp focus in the eyes of a swordsman. This was Miyamoto Musashi's world, one that he chose over a conventional life. His journey to greatness was paved with significant sacrifices, from foregoing close relationships to eschewing the comforts of a regular life. 
Musashi's dedication to his art was absolute, and it demanded everything from him. His story poses a compelling question. What does it take to achieve true greatness? It's a question that resonates beyond the tales of ancient samurai. Think about your own life and the dreams you chase. Reflect on the moments you stood at a crossroads where pursuing your passion meant letting go of something else. Whether it was time spent away from loved ones, the security of a traditional career path, or even personal comforts, these are the unseen costs of walking a path less traveled. Musashi's choices exemplify the bittersweet reality of pursuing excellence. The road to achieving your greatest potential often requires difficult sacrifices. Just as Musashi's relentless pursuit of mastery defined his life, your own sacrifices carve the path to your unique version of success. As you navigate your journey, consider the sacrifices you've made and those you may still need to make. Are they aligning you closer to your goals? Remember, the path to greatness isn't just about the achievements that others see. It's also about the unseen sacrifices that lay the groundwork for those triumphs. In the stillness of solitude, Miyamoto Musashi discovered an unshakable strength. Far from the bustling streets and crowded dojos, he found a sanctuary where his thoughts, skills, and spirit could flourish. This was where Musashi cultivated a resilience that became as legendary as his swordsmanship. But what about you? In your own life, have you ever noticed how solitude can be a powerful ally? It's in those quiet moments alone that you get the chance to really listen to yourself, to understand your true desires and fears without the noise of the world interfering. It's there, in the silence, that you can build a foundation of self-reliance and inner strength. Consider the times you felt alone on your journey, whether it was in making a tough decision, learning a new skill, or embarking on a personal project. These moments of solitude are not just empty spaces, they're opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Like Musashi, you can use these times to sharpen your mind and spirit, preparing yourself for the challenges ahead. Embracing solitude doesn't mean rejecting the world. It means finding a balance where you can be at peace with yourself, even when alone. It's about building a resilience that doesn't falter when you step back into the crowd. This resilience is your armor and your compass, guiding you through life's battles and decisions. Take a moment to reflect on how solitude has shaped you. Has it been a source of strength and clarity? How can you harness the power of solitude more effectively in your life? Musashi's legacy teaches us that true strength often comes from within, nurtured in moments of quiet reflection and steadfast resolve. In life's journey, there's often a thin line between loneliness and solitude, a distinction that Miyamoto Musashi knew well. For many, loneliness is an unwelcome shadow, a sense of being disconnected and adrift in a sea of bustling lives. But Musashi saw solitude differently, as a chosen path, a space for growth and self-reflection, now think about your own life. Are there moments where what you perceive as loneliness could actually be an opportunity for solitude? It's about perspective. While loneliness is often laden with feelings of sadness and isolation, solitude can be empowering, a time for introspective thought and personal development. Musashi found in solitude a companion that helped sharpen his mind and spirit. In those quiet moments, away from the distractions of the world, he found clarity and purpose. His practice wasn't one of escapism, but rather a conscious choice to engage deeply with his inner self. How can you apply this perspective to your own life? When you find yourself feeling lonely, consider how you might transform that experience into a productive period of solitude. Use this time to delve into your passions, to meditate, to plan, or simply to be with your thoughts. It's in these moments that you can discover aspects of yourself that you never knew existed. Imagine transforming your moments of loneliness into stepping stones towards self-mastery, much like Musashi did. It's about embracing solitude not as a burden, but as a gateway to deeper self-understanding and resilience. As you navigate through life, remember that solitude is not a sign of weakness, but a state where you can build strength, wisdom, and inner peace. As we traverse our individual paths, it's easy to feel daunted by the stretches of solitude that seem to stretch out before us. Yet, looking through the lens of Miyamoto Musashi's life, we see a powerful testament to the rewards that such a journey can bring. Musashi, often alone but never deterred, carved a legacy that has transcended time. His solitary pursuits weren't merely periods of isolation. 
They were the crucible in which his skills, philosophy, and art were refined. His life's work, from the renowned Book of Five Rings to his masterful paintings and sculptures, were all fruits of his times of solitude. Now, let's turn the focus back to you, the viewer. Perhaps you're navigating your own solitary journey right now. It might be a path towards personal development, a professional goal, or a creative endeavor. Whatever it is, Musashi's legacy is a beacon of hope, a vivid reminder that great rewards often come from walking the solitary path. Think of this period in your life not as a sentence of loneliness, but as a fertile ground for cultivating your unique talents and visions. Imagine the possibilities that lie in wait for you, the achievements that can emerge from this phase of your life. Like Musashi, your solitary journey has the potential to lead to significant personal achievements, ones that can leave a lasting impact. So, as you walk your path, perhaps occasionally shadowed by loneliness, remember Musashi's legacy. Let it inspire you to view this phase of your journey not as a barrier, but as a powerful catalyst for growth and remarkable achievements. Your current moments of solitude could very well be the forging ground for a legacy as enduring and impactful as that of Miyamoto Musashi. As we reach the end of our exploration, let's reflect on the profound journey we've embarked upon. Just like Miyamoto Musashi's path, strewn with solitude and sacrifice, each of us walks a unique trail marked by our aspirations and challenges. Remember, the loneliness you might feel on your journey towards success isn't a sign of being lost. Rather, it's a testament to your commitment to achieving something extraordinary. It's a space where you forge your resilience, sharpen your skills, and grow in ways you never thought possible. So, as you continue on your path, embrace the solitary moments. They are not just hurdles to overcome, but valuable opportunities for self-discovery and deep personal growth. Let the story of Musashi remind you that the moments of solitude are where you build the foundations of your future triumphs. Your journey might be lonesome at times, but it is also filled with potential for remarkable achievement and fulfillment. Walk it with the determination of Musashi, the wisdom of the sages, and the belief in your own incredible potential. Go forth with courage, for in your path, you are not just walking towards success, you are crafting a legacy of strength, wisdom, and perseverance.